Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So the good news about last weekly analysis video is that the pairs have all of them went in the right direction. The sad news is that the triggers have never been reached and therefore we could not actually have entered these signals. So what is the next movement right now we can expect in this midweekly analysis video? First of all, I just wanted to remind everyone that this week we are having this upcoming news and today Wednesday we are going to have the all day G7 meetings and therefore we can expect that the market might actually be on high volatility today and therefore please pay attention for all your opened positions. Also at 6 p.m. Uh, Dubai time and uh, 2 p.m. GMT time uh, we are having the Bank of Canada rate statement and overnight rate. Uh, these news actually might affect the CAD pairs so please pay attention if you will open any trade on the CAD pair. Going for the next day tomorrow which is Thursday we can see that actually it's gonna be a good day that I don't see any high impact news coming and Friday please pay attention at 4 30 p.m. Dubai time 12 30 p.m. GMT time we are gonna have the unemployment rate for the CAD pair and uh, for the USD pair as well. Now frankly speaking I really don't think that we are going to witness any movement on the USD pairs because uh, it's already well known about uh, the unemployment rate that is just is just going really high now in the U United States. I don't think it's going to make any shock on the market but however it's a different story for the CAD. So please pay attention more to the CAD on Friday afternoon. I think all the CAD pairs are going to be on high, much high volatility at the time of these news. Now that being said let's pay attention to what's happening right now on the euro usd now actually the dollar is getting weaker and weaker day after day and we can see that since more than a week the euro dollar didn't stop rising that is because of the weakness of the us dollar currency uh, the riot actions happening right there in, in the united states the pandemic of covid 19 and the highest rate of infections and deaths as well um, um, whatever happened there also uh, wait a minute there was third one which is the, uh, yeah, the highest rate of unemployment rate therefore um, all of that have led to the weakness in the USD currency in the US currency dollar therefore uh, Euro USD is actually going to continue rising in my opinion until it hit that resistance level and even after that I think that Euro dollar is going to continue rising even more until it hit that resistance level. So now since we are on the uh, daily candles, let's go to the four hour chart and we can see that actually to be honest with you, frankly speaking, I was willing to give you a signal to start buying the euro dollar from that point here at that support. However, uh, the movement right now on the euro dollar is getting stronger. Uh, therefore, m we might actually need to rise our entry point to be at the top of that resistance level right here which is going to be right now sooner or later the new support level. Therefore, uh, we can expect from the dollar to reverse for another 43 pips before it's going to be good for the buy. So we can start buying the euro dollar at 1.11442 and you can keep your trade running all the way until the market actually. Let's just be clear go to the one hour chart I just want to find the best uh, take profit levels and just be realistic as much as possible I think exactly right here that's gonna be our uh, take profit level with approximately of 152 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all uh, let me just mark for you the take profit level take profit is gonna be at 1.13026 so hopefully we're gonna see uh, a good results and of course i don't have to remind you that if you see any bearish breakout candle closes actually below that support level and it has to be a candle that has closed as a bearish bre a breakout candle then please close the trade with the loss let's check right now the pound usd uh, same story happening to the pound usd uh, again uh, the dollar is getting weaker and weaker and therefore uh, right now uh, the pound USD is approaching a resistance level I'm assuming that after hitting that resistance the pair is gonna make some uh, pullback and let's see where exactly we can start again 
buying the uh, pound USD. Uh, I would highly advise you to start again buying the pound USD at the level uh, 1.25526 and because of course that was on the one hour chart a previous resistance level and right here as well therefore with the weakness of the dollar currency we can expect from the pair to actually continue the rise after hitting that entry level and keep the trade running until the pair hit the absolute high, absolute high absolute highest <laughs> top we level of that resistance level or the peak of the resistance level we can expect approximately 88 pips of profit actually we can expect more to be honest with you yes definitely actually the pound is gonna rise higher than that yes we can expect up approximately 150 pips of profit so the take profit is gonna be 1.27097 on the pound usd and again my friends same story happening here if you see any bearish breakout candle closes below that entry level then please close your trade with the loss going to the AUD USD actually uh, we need to get rid of these uh, signals we have sent earlier now let me tell you what I'm expecting to happen at the AUD USD the same thing is happening for the AUD USD uh, the pair is actually getting weaker and therefore we can expect sorry i meant the us the, yeah the dollar currency is getting weaker and since we're having here a key resistance level we can expect from the aud usd to actually make a pullback however at this at this support level we can start again buying the aud usd and keep the trade running until the market hit that previous resistance level so uh, just to make it very quick because i know the market right now is moving on high volatility and we don't really want to miss these uh, good setups um that that is not the stop yeah that is okay all right so let me just get rid of this line so that's gonna be our buy area we can uh, to buy the AUD USD at the level 0 0.68450 and then keep the trade running until the market hit the take profit level at 0 0.70 uh, 0 uh, 329 okay so we can look for approximately 100 or actually almost yeah 150 as 185 pips uh, 5 pips of profit and again same story guys uh, if you see any bearish breakout candle here breaking out from this support level right here then close the trade with the loss and remember you have to see the candle actually closes as a bearish breakout now let's check more about the usd cad for the usd cad my friends um as we can see the momentum is very strong and the pair exactly has reached my uh, my take profit level but sadly did not hit the entry point level right here so what's the next movement we can do with the usd cad um, actually the usd cad is moving in a very strong bearish momentum and as we can see we're having right here the previous resistance level if we look at the left we're having here that key resistance level and I'm expecting from the pair to make a small bounce at that support level hit that previous key resistance level and then continue falling all the way to hit that previous support level so uh, just to make it shorter we can start again sell the USD CAD at 1.35575 and keep your trade running until the market hit the absolute lowest level of the support which was also a previous resistance level right here as we can see so that's gonna be our take profit level 1.33177 and of course the same thing again if you see any bullish breakout candle breaking out from your entry point then please close the trade with the loss let's check right now the USD GPY the USD GPY is actually having a different story because the pound, uh, sorry, the yen is even weaker than the dollar. Therefore, we can see that the USD GPY is actually rising. So what is the next movement we can expect from uh, the USD GPY is actually to start shorting the USD GPY exactly at the level of this key resistance, which was also a resistance number one right here. And we can keep the trade running only for short time until the market hit that previous support level I'm expecting after that that the pair might actually continue rising therefore uh, we need to wait the, for the pair to rise another 51 pips before we can short it 
uh, sell the UST GPY at the level 109.304 and then keep the trade running only for short term let me just be more clear here just until the support level so we can look for ap approximately 85 pips of profit take profit is going to be 108.480 so that's your signal for the USD GPY and hopefully the pair is gonna reach that level. Uh, let's check right now the USD CHF. Now looking at the USD CHF, we can see that right now the pair is actually ranging on that support level. And you might think that the pair is actually respecting that level since the market has reversed not even one or two but three times on that very same support level. Now the question is how far do you think the market can hold on that support level? with the downtrend like that with the market going in this downtrend channel i highly doubt that the market can keep this uh, this support level strong that enough eventually the market is actually going to break out and going to continue falling more down to hit that previous support level now the question is where can i start selling of course if we look at that price action uh, neither of these two price actions indicating any bullish reversal we're having here a doji and a, what looks like a hammer therefore i really don't think that pair, the pair is gonna uh, start any bullish reversal at all we can start shorting the uh euro the usdchf sorry let me just be more accurate my friends uh let me just give you a safe entry for shorting the usdchf and that, that is exactly where it is at the level let me just write it sell usd chf as 0 0.96361 and in that scenario we can keep the trade running as i said to the nearest support level which is exactly right, laying right here so we can look for approximately 132 pips profit from uh, the usd chf so take profit is going to be 0 0.95044 that's my analysis for the USD CHF and hopefully it's gonna work well and the last thing is the gold and the gold signal is actually still running very well look at that let's go to the four hour chart and just let me show you that's the profit okay good so look at that I mean I have sent the signal that we can start buying the gold at 107 uh, 1721.14 and the pair has reversed exactly exactly at the very same level given in the signal amazing that's very nice you, you didn't even miss one pip with that uh, entry and we can see that the uh, gold has went in total of 104 pips of profit right now it's making the pullback i'm i expect for the gold to hit again the very same level of uh, the entry might be going a little bit down but eventually the gold is gonna actually continue rising so therefore the gold signal is active right now and i really don't think the need uh, or I, I don't see the need to actually close it at all of course you can close it with the loss only if you see any bearish breakout candle closing like that below the entry level so there you go that's your midweek analysis video i think this is gonna be a very profitable week since the dollar is very weak and it's easily to predict how the pairs are going to move so in the end i really hope that is uh, I, ho I hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching